So there was drama last night. We were, it was probably like, I don't know, about midnight. And Shelly had gone to bed and the wind was like 15 to 20 because it picked up the windy current. So I was flying. And then she goes, Brian, Brian, there's water on the floor in the kitchen. We anchored. Man, in the back of my mind, I said, oh my God, I'm going to have to call the Coast Guard to come tow us out. And you know, earlier in the video, I was talking about, we're we going to buy this trash pump, which one should we get? And Shelly's going, we should have bought that trash pump. And I'm like, God dang it. And I've been watching Zagaro, same thing happened to him, something like that. And I was like, buy a trash pump on the comments. And here I am, no damn trash pump. There's a, from here... All the way down along here, there's a crack. Look up in here. You see that? That's all like plywood that they put in there 40 years ago. That's marine plywood. Look, it's just mush. That's mahogany. All right, it's wiggling. Look. So today's not a very nice day. It's probably gonna rain, the humidity's high. I'm not gonna do any work outside, any kind of type of fiberglass work. So there's the table. I went and bought like a little table to, to work on for fiberglass and just a project table. One on the side, one on the side, and then on the one that was bad, I just went ahead and just re it. We made the structure to hold the mast up to where we can build beams. So there's the first two layer, the first layers of fiberglass over where the beam was. So the next step is to level that. You see that gap? We're gonna, it goes all the way out to here. So we're gonna level all that out at, in a section. And then same with this. You see that gap? 
we're gonna level the this part right here, right there. We're gonna bring it out and, and we're gonna fill that with fiberglass and fill all that in to try to get all that one level. It'd be nice to do it all in one one shot, but it's not gonna happen. Once you get all that level, then I'm gonna start putting the bigger pieces on and go from there. And then if I have any issues later, I'll just have to sand in those low spots and bring them up. Look, all the fiberglass work is done. And that's the end of it. So now what's left to do is to kind of grind down the high spot. So it's a little bit of high spot right here where, so I'll gr kind of grind this down and grind all this down and grind off all where it's all fresh to where it's all, all the, like sanding it and then get around all these edges and get it ready to fare. And that's the end of that. And that was, man, a long process. That took me two months, two months, maybe two and a half months to do. And uh, that was a lot of work. And I learned a lot, I learned a lot. I learned that there's nothing on this boat I can't accomplish. So I don't, I'm not interested in looking for a more complicated boat, but I think I've got it down, so it's off to navigation. cotter pins on the outside yeah that way they don't get hooked together and pull out again yeah well that's what I did and then you flipped it <laughs> he, he, always, he always blames me he's like an old grandma <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.